I want to talk to you about this. You start out very early on saying that things have gotten worse, that we can expect a disparity between the media and reality, of course, anybody who's talking about reality. But since the computer age, essentially, things have gotten much worse. Why, why do you think that is? Well, Andrew, first of all, thank you for having me on, and thank you for always having our back at Project Veritas. Uh, well, we uh, love you guys. The, yeah. um, and I did write it. I, I locked myself <laughs> in a log cabin for a week, and I, and I wrote it. I, I, I did a lot of research. I read uh, a lot of the progressive muckrakers from the early 20th century, Upton Sinclair, Pam Zekman, um, a lot of the investigators, Mike Wallace, a lot of the investigative reporters, Gunter Walruf, who actually did this. And, they, and, and if you think what we do at Project Veritas is – is hardcore or crosses an ethical line, then you need to study history because this is not like we're doing something new under the sun. You know, George Orwell wrote in 1984 that the party, the opposition, the establishment, uh, the deep state, if you will, would demand that you don't believe the evidence of your eyes and ears. They, they would, that was the most important commandment. Uh, protagonist Winston Smith said in 1984, the party demanded that I don't trust my own instincts, my own sensory perceptions of the world around me. So Veritas, uh, is just simply using modern technology to disseminate truth to the people. And the propagandists do not want you to trust your own eyes and ears. There was a great anecdote this, uh, after the Michael Wolf thing with the, with the quotes in the White House. And the Washington Post reported, quote, there's no evidence to suggest that he did not say the things <laughs> that he said. Yeah. I mean, I mean th that logic is so twisted. And it's not, Andrew, um, it's not necessarily something that the journalism community will say explicitly, we're propagandists, but it's a group think that has fostered inside the New York Times. So Veritas smashes the status narratives with reality, with, with, with cinema verite, and we're hated for it. So this book talks about that and about the moral courage required to do it.